Hey everyone, um, now that I'm starting to assemble these o OTFB mechanisms, I wanted to kind of go over them and, and just kind of show you how they work. Um, as I said in my post, these are all sort of inspired by um, OTF knives and, and sort of the mechanism behind, behind how those work. It was just sort of a, it's sort of a reimagining um, into a sort of a tubular uh, radial um, reimagining of how those, those, oper those mechanisms operate. So, um, as you can see, um, this is a, f uh, final assembly. Uh, this is another one that I've tuned. So at the end, um, each one bolts into, um, this, the sculpture. So in order to tune each one, they, they have to be mounted to this little neural disc. Um, so I assume you can sort of fine tune each one and then I'll take it off and, and, and set it aside. So, um, that's, that's how I tune them. But, um, get into the uh, nuts and bolts of it. Each one of these assemblies has seven parts. There is uh, the main body um, that houses all the bits. Um, there are two uh, bronze catches um, that, that are the lockouts for the shaft. There's a, a cam ring that drives um, both the, the load pin and the lifters that um, undo the catch. Um, there's a spring carrier. This goes inside of the shaft. This one, this holds um, two springs. Um, I'll show you that in a second. This holds two springs. Um, and then there's the, the main shaft part um, that has the ridges for the catches and then um, the guide slots. Um, so the way this works is, um, this is a, an assembled shaft. So Inside is the spring carrier, and there's a spring on each end, and this isn't locked in, but, but just to show you, there's, a, there's a, a little bit of play, there's about a half of an inch of play, but at each end of travel, um, uh, there are set screws that, that are adjustable, and, and, and basically when this is, is moved, it, it loads the spring in this direction, and then to fire the other way, the spring gets loaded in that direction um, for the return fire. Um, so there's a little... This is this covers the full length of travel. And I'll just pull this out to kind of show you the, uh, the spring carrier assembly. So this is it. Just there's just uh, two quarter inch springs um, that are friction fit into each end, um, and then inside there's there's a set screw that engages the the guide pin to lock it into position. Um, and so the way this works is that there are two opposed bronze catches that go into each of these slots. Um, there's a spring nested in, in each one. So there's a pocket for the spring at each end and then there's a threaded hole for the, the lifting screw. Um, so um, basically this one is the, is the catch for the spring in one direction and then there'll be a second one that's opposed the other direction um, that catch. So basically how this works is as you rotate the collar um, one direction, you see it's, it's loading the spring against the shaft to the right. So it's loading that spring. Um, at the same time, uh, this, this cam ring has a wedge in it. And so as you're loading the spring, this wedge is slowly lifting the catch that, that holds the shaft uh, in place. So as you get to the end of travel, uh, that catch will lift and then it will fire and uh, on the other side as you're lifting one catch it, it's dropping the catch for the other side so that it can um, catch on the other side so that's that's basically how it is it just repeats the action um, in each direction so pretty straightforward I'm um, just sort of working out the the guts of it was uh, you know fun just to sort of um, really tune everything it's like you need getting the right spring getting the right clearances and all that that is was was an adventure so each one gets mounted and and sort of tuned in and then you know all the thread locker goes on and uh and then you just sort of uh hope that things stay where they <laughs> stay where they are but in any event uh, that's basically how it works it's not too complicated i'm sort of uh i know this is way way overbuilt i mean it doesn't do anything except what it what you see here so uh, um but I, I sort of like these really chunky mechanisms and a lot of people are asking me if i could shrink this down make it a lot smaller but but i think um the the benefit of a big chunky mechanism like this is that it's instructive you know you can 
clearly see how it works and all the all the bits are, are very sort of visually accessible and you can and kind of um, it's, it's easier to understand and I think that's part of the beauty of like trying to make engineering in, in, into your art and, 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 and balance those two things. So in any event, that's my air compressor. Um, so I'm gonna end this video, but 